Let's switch gears and talk about the Great American Eclipse. Of course, coming our way next month, we're getting closer and closer, less than a month away now. Can you believe it? One of the things I was kind of digging into today is will this eclipse, especially areas that are going to see the totality where it covers the whole sun, impact the temperature for that day? The answer is yes, especially if skies are clear and we don't have a whole lot of wind going on. So this is the temperature pattern for Carbondale during the last eclipse, which was August 21st, 2017. The totality was right around 120. And look what happened to the temperature. Before the eclipse totality, they were scooting close to 90 degrees. This was in the afternoon, remember. Once totality hit about 120, 121, the temperature dropped significantly. You're going from almost 90 down to 83, 84 degrees. And then it started scooting back up after the eclipse was finishing. It's not just temperature that the eclipse could potentially impact. It also changes the winds as well. And there's another cool thing you can look for. Will it happen here in the Quad Cities? I think there'll be some impacts. Don't forget, it's 91% coverage that we'll be seeing here in our region. So there will likely be some temperature impacts, but not as likely as dramatic as what they saw in Carbondale. We've got more eclipse coverage, by the way. WQAD.com, hit the weather tab. There's a link right there that says solar eclipse. It'll have this story and all the others that we've been working on for you right there in one handy place.